So, you would like to make gangs only spawn in the streets of Ice City? Or maybe just certain areas? Well, in this video today, I'll show you how you can easily do that without downloading any mods or having to do much, really. All you need to do is find where your Vice City game is installed, whether it's Steam, Rockstar version, or the Rockstar Launcher version, should I say. And here is something like what you should see. All the folders, you might have certain mods in there if you like Vice City mods and such. You won't see Cleo and Rainbow Miser mod loader if you're not really into modding. But anyways, you need to go to the data folder. You need to find the data folder and enter it. Go into PED group or PED GRP. And it's that file. You want to open that with Notepad or any type of application that opens text files, really. And here we are. This is what you'll see. A load of PED tags. So these are all the PED tags in the game. Here is all the zones in the game. It's hard to really know which zones mean which area if you're not too familiar. But there is there should be a link in the description of this video to show where all the zones are on the Vice City map to make it a lot easier. So these are like the pet tags. For example, this means white female, young street. This means white male, old street. Uh, black male, old tramp. Stuff like that. So if you want all gangs to spawn everywhere, just like the San Andreas cheat where gangs control the street. You want all the gang tags instead of the peds here. Something something like this instead, which I prepared for well, I won't say for this video, more for my gang warfare videos. It should something look something like this. So I left the default as it is, you can also change that, but I left it as it was. So, for example, you have CBA, CBB, that's Cuban gang members, HNA, HNB is Haitian gang members, and all the other gangs that we are all in the description to explain all of the gang tags. Well, if you want them everywhere, then you just copy and paste, copy and paste of each zone. You can vary them as much as you want, have a little experiment. And of course, if you just want certain gang members in just certain areas instead instead of all gang members everywhere you can just say well I want the uh, Colombian gang to or the Diaz gang to spawn at the airport so you can just edit this this might look different to yours since this is a bit of a custom ped group for mine but you can take away two ped tags and say well CBA and CBB. Make sure there's a comma in between each one. And then you should have the, Q the Colombians or the Diaz gang spawn around the airport. I should also note to you at this point, before you edit any files on well, any GTA game really, or any game, you should make sure to back up the originals. It's really important. Just in case if you make a mistake, you can just revert to the original and copy the original file back into the game and you're back to where you were. And if you want, you can back up the whole game, which I do, just in case. It makes it so much easier for modding and editing files. It really does come in handy. And when you're done, of course, don't forget to save it. I've uh, <laughs> made that mistake sometimes myself, so you just want to hit save here. But when you're ready, when you're happy with your changes. So, your pet group should look like this. If you want gangs absolutely everywhere, of course, if you don't want them in certain zones, leave them by default. If you want to have certain pedestrians 
in any zone that you want, in, you can do that as well, not just gangs, of course. Um, I'm not sure about police forces, like police, uh, SWAT, army, people like that. I've not actually tested it yet. And GTA 3 would crash the game, so you might do the same for Vice City, but it does work for paramedics and firemen as well. Just not the law enforcement. <laughs> I'll also leave a link in the description to show all the pet tags of every pet in the game. Which you can place in and experiment with in any way you wish. Okay, now let's get into the game and see it in action to see how it should look with this example. Okay, now we're in, in Vice City. Already we can see that gang members are spawning in vehicles. And here they are on the street. Now there's another step. If you want gang members to spawn in vehicles, which I'll show you after this. Didn't actually forget about that. But here they are spawning in the streets, having gunfights, gang wars. Now this shouldn't affect anything really if you have mods on the game. It should be okay. So here we have Diaz's gang on the street. Here we have the street gang or sharks, street wannabes. They have so many names. And the Vesay gang. They actually are uh, not hostile with each other in the game. For whatever reason. Even around the airport, we will see gang spawn. Got Haitians here, we got the pigs here. So everywhere you go, gangs you shall see. They'll even spawn inside here. And as you can see, they don't like me, for obvious reasons. And that's all there is to it. But if you would like to make them spawn in cars, if you would like to change their weapons, like to change the vehicles they drive as well as their gang vehicles, then continue on because we'll explain that coming right up. Okay, next up, I shall show you how to make gang members drive civilian vehicles. So once again, we find your Vice City directory. We go into data once again. We scroll down and find default ID, not that ID. We open it up. We scroll down until we find this section here, gang pads. Now this should say zero for each gang member, you just want to change them to 7FF, like it says here. Now I'm not familiar with coding or how this works, but I changed it to 7FF based on another ped somewhere else. And it works, so that is all I can say. But just to note, it only affects civilian vehicles, so emergency vehicles will still have, you know, firemen driving the fire trucks, cops driving the police cars, and it won't affect taxis, I don't think. So taxi drivers should still spawn in them all the time, and gang vehicles as well. So Cuban Hermes, the Cubans will still drive them. The Voodoos, the Haitians will still drive them, and so on. So that's all there is to it. That should work in game after changing this to 7FF. Now let's move on to the next chapter. Now for this part, if you would like to change the gang's weapons, change their gang vehicle, or change their hostility towards Tommy Vassetti, then this is what you need to do next. Now for this 
you will need a mod specifically the Vice City Game Save Editor made by xb 36 Hazard. There'll be the link in the description. And you should see something like this, the launcher. Once it opens up, you'll see a lot of different games, which is pretty cool. You just want to scroll down till you find Vice City. There's also GTA 3, San Andreas, and even GTA games. So you just want to find Vice City and install it. Once it's installed, it should look like this. You just want to open it. It's all safe, there's no, no viruses or anything like that. You will be safe to go. Well, I hope so anyway. I've been using this for about a year, so no issues. So you just want to open the file, go find it, wherever your Vice City save files are at. It should be in documents, but if they are somewhere else, go find them, wherever they are. So you can choose any one you want. In this case, I'll choose this one, since I have edited this save with this editor. I would advise you to back this up before making any changes, so at least you can copy um, the original saves back into your save file directory. So there's many things you can change here, it's a really cool mod. You can change things for Tommy here, like Infinite Sprint, making fireproof, anything you see, any of the weapons, you can even have Never Wanted. All sorts of other things you can explore, but in this video we're going to focus on the gangs. So here are all the gangs. First to note, we'll address the naming error. I'm not sure if this is a mistake by the dev or some kind of coding in the game itself. But the Ferrelli crime family is actually the sharks or the street wannabes. As you can see, it's the gang burrito by default, and the Sharks are actually the Diaz gang or the Colombians. For some reason they've switched around and don't know why the Freddy crime family is here. But everything else is normal, Haitians, Cubans, the Say gang, the bikers, the pigs, and even the golfers, but we don't really focus on the golfers. If you put the golfers pay tags in the game, just like the gang members, they'll just spawn as regular pedestrians instead. But you can still change their weapons, if you like, for when they spawn at the golf club. So first, you can change the hostility. I have them all set to friendly. But you can change them to be hostile towards a player to any of these gangs. Even the Vasetti gang. You can change the gang vehicles here, so you can change it to any vehicle you desire that's in the game. I'm sure some might be a bit unstable, I'm not sure. For example, if you put a boat or a plane with a police maverick, it might be an interesting result, I'm not sure. But you can have any vehicle you want. There's a picture of the vehicle as well, just so you know what vehicle you would be getting. But we'll leave it back to the original. I like the originals. It is to note though, if you change the vehicle to a civilian vehicle, then every, I think usually when you see that vehicle spawn in traffic, it'll have the gang member in instead of the civilians. I'm not sure, I've not done enough testing on that, but it's what I've noticed during gang warfares. That seems to be an occurrence. Now on to the weapons. Each gang has weapon 1 and weapon 2. Usually by default, a lot of these gangs seem to have nothing set or unarmed. So this is a nice mod to make them have gang weapons all of the time. 
whether it's the same one, just standard pistols or anything else. If you want them all to have miniguns, you can have miniguns. If you want them to have a rocket launcher, you can have that. Or if you just want them to stand around pressing a button of the remote det detonator, then you can, whatever you like. You can have them all to have melee weapons, chainsaw, whatever. Have a little exploration into this and see what you like. It's pretty cool. This is basically how I make my gang warfare videos. Make them have different weapons. As well, sometimes I do use the random weapons in the Rainbow Miser mod. So, when you're done, don't forget to save as well by clicking this icon. So, let's test this in game to show you that the sharks, or actually the Colombians in this case, don't forget, will spawn with a minigun and M60. At least they'll be friendly towards me. And the Vicetti gang will have the chainsaw and the stubby shotgun, why not? Leave the rest. Or maybe, you know, we'll change the Cubans. Flamethrower. And the Mac 10. We'll just change us for now to save time and let's hit save. And that's what you should get. Now I'm not sure if this only works on, this actually works on the Definitive Edition as well, not just the regular version. I'm not sure if it only works on 1.0 and 1.1 or just 1.0 version of the original game. I'm not sure if it'll work with highly modded versions of the game. You might have errors, but it definitely works on 1.0, which is what I use. So now let's go and see these examples in the game. What's going on? Here we are. The Vesetti gang have chainsaws and a stubby shotgun. The Colombians have the minigun. Oh. Very high tech. And the M60 over there. They're there, having a bell. There's more gang members spawning in cars. Don't be a hero, yo. Did you take my blood? I hope not. So take it with you, any more beam? Such deadly weapons. I would have come back anyway. Okay, and that's basically it for the video. Take it easy and no problem. Have a Experiment with different gang weapons. Explore changing the spawns of gang members in whichever areas you want. And have a lot of fun. I hope you hope this video helps you make this possible. And I hope I've explained it the best I can. So thank you for watching and enjoy the chaos. <laughs>